City of Syracuse is a community of, of, of over 150,000 people sitting right in the heart of the city of Syracuse. In fact, one of the most important parts of the city of Syracuse is Syracuse University. The, uh, the college campus is really not a lot different than the general community. It's really a microcosm of the community. We have uh, 21,700 students on our campus as well as faculty and staff, so at any given time there's a, a, a community of about 30,000 people here. The university has a, uh, uh, a very large uh, Department of Public Safety, uh, 68 sworn staff, total of 115 staff with uh, civilian dispatchers and uh, community service officers and support staff. Um, but what's unique about Syracuse is we have a very, very close working relationship with the Syracuse Police Department. The Syracuse Police Department and Department of uh, Public Safety works ha work hand in hand. We share intelligence information uh, as it relates to criminal activity that, e that may or has occurred on Syracuse University property. We're constantly looking at the climate on the university and changing our policies and our uh, memorandum of understandings to make sure that uh, we, we're properly addressing any issues that may come about. You know, thinking about the, the balance between a community policing model and, and a traditional response model uh, of law enforcement does uh, create uh, quite a bit of a challenge because a part of our responsibility is to establish uh, trust and a, and a trusting relationship with the university community. Our community should expect you know, our, our staff to, uh, to be courteous, uh, to be, you know, professional, um, but most importantly that they're collaborative with the community in which they serve. And, you know, we have an expectation that, that our staff understands that, you know, most of a, you know, a public safety officer's time spent here is in a peacekeeping capacity rather than a crime fighting capacity. The Department of Public Safety has patrols on campus, uh, they, have, they patrol the borders of campus. Uh, we have patrols that uh, also work in the outer campus area, and they include uh, bicycle patrols, foot patrols, uh, vehicle patrols, and, and of course our students uh, uh, that work for the uh, Community for uh, Student Safety Program. Orange Watch are a designated patrol zones um, that include off-campus and on-campus properties that we know are heavily populated by our, by our students. Uh, we've also got the Neighborhood Safety Patrol. Neighborhood Safety Patrol um, is designated to work with the neighbors in the university area, um, handling quality of life issues, um, specifically in the evening and on the weekends. There's also the University Area Crime Control Team, which is a, a, a team that's comprised of uh, public safety officers and Syracuse police officers that are working uh, in the extended campus area in areas that we know that students have been impacted by street crimes. Uh, the most common reported incidents are uh, thefts, larcenies um, from uh, the academic buildings. Bird Library is a destination, welcoming destination for all students where they come, they gather, they get together to socialize, to network, to work on a project, and to study. The most common incident that occurs in the library is larceny due to two reasons. People leave their things behind or people leave their properties unattended. Syracuse University Library offers a cable lock for your computer where you can secure your computer to the table. We have a lot of flyers that deals with crime prevention, not to leave your property unattended. The 28 floor monitors that conduct hourly rounds around the floors, once they see an unattended property, they simply bring it down to the security office for safekeeping to prevent such larcenies from happening. Campus Peace Officer is about community policing and relaying to people and talking to people. When you're on campus, it's a totally different environment. It's a mentoring, teaching environment, and you have to be sincere and compassionate regarding that cause. The Department of Pub Public Safety um, has a, some limitations on our jurisdiction, so we, uh, um, we have jurisdiction on properties owned, controlled, and operated by Syracuse University, as well as the city streets and sidewalks and parks that are immediately adjacent. Um, but there's about 8,500 students that live in a two-square-mile area just east of campus um, where our city police department partners actually patrol. Uh, at night, um, we actually provide additional patrols in those neighborhoods to act as a deterrent to crime. Although we patrol 24 hours a day, the most active times and the, the times that it's most necessary are obviously uh, the nighttime hours. It's a higher crime time. People are going about, their, they're not just in class or they're not just in their residence hall, they're, they're going out, they're stepping out to get a bite to eat, so we, we like to be visible. Obviously, um, special events, game days. Our campus expands by thousands, most of whom 
have a tough time figuring out where they're going, so it's nice to be out there to be able to point people in the right direction, keep them safe, and be very visible. More on the weekend, you'll see an influx of students walking around campus, and um, that's time that they get out and they socialize with their friends. Um, so you see a very dramatic increase in uh, foot traffic. The night patrol that I actually oversee is uh, what we call a watch, and that's six at night till six in the morning. And we um, partner with Syracuse Police Department, where we have Neighborhood Safety Patrol, and we have UACT and Orange Watch. Our job is really to keep the students safe and the community safe, and that fear um, that people have, uh, we want to reduce that. It's the comfort and the security of our students that the reason we're here. Um, and their families and their mom and dads at home to know that you know there's a there's a large presence of police keeping their keeping their loved ones safe. The Syracuse University has an enormous footprint in our city, and if we had to use all police resources to address the issues on on this campus, then we would exhaust a lot of our resources that we really just don't have to use nowadays. So the Department of Public Safety has become a tremendous asset to us in that regard. What I'm most proud of is that I think that we are very responsive, we're prompt, we're professional, and more importantly, that when people call that you're compassionate. You know, I mean, your expectation is, is that when somebody responds, you would hope that it's the same way they respond to their mother calling or to their father calling or a sister or a brother. 